Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we have a guest post from Vijay Ratanam. I've interviewed him in the past and there'll be links in the description to find out more about him and see those interviews. Today we are looking at some of his custom actions that he's been using to improve his editing and sound design workflow. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hello friends, I've made some custom actions that might help people who edit audio in Reaper. Here are some of them. The first one is uh, what I call a seek playback. Um, if you have seen people use Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro X, FCPX, then you might have noticed a feature where if you just move your mouse cursor like that on top of your window, uh, the video will seek playback. I've been thinking of how to do that in Reaper and I've mapped a key where I can do that. If I hold F5 and move my mouse cursor like so, you will find the video is seeking playback. Um, I'm not clicking any uh, anywhere. I'm not dragging anything. All I'm doing is holding F5 and moving uh, my mouse cursor. So this way I can seek playback and see what's happening uh, in the video. Uh, without having to forward and rewind and do all kinds of things. So this is one custom action that has really helped me to speed things up a bit. So let me show you how I'm doing it. Uh, first one is this. I call it custom seek playback. So this is a simple custom action. Select track under mouse. I do that to select the track and then move edit cursor to mouse cursor. All I'm doing is wherever I hold the F5, the edit cursor automatically snaps to my mouse cursor. So let's say my mouse cursor is here, but my edit cursor is here. The moment I hit the F5 key like now, the edit cursor snaps. And if I hold that key and keep moving my mouse, um, the edit cursor just follows. And I can also have track selection moving like that. Like for example, let me add around eight tracks and call it test. Okay, now I have eight tracks. So I've mapped to F5 where I can change the track selection with just my mouse plus my edit cursor position. Uh, so this is really helpful to um, navigate through the tracks as well as uh, navigate through picture. And the second custom action, let's say we are on time code 1918. Let's say I want this bit to be synced up to the cursor. So what we will normally do, or people who come from Pro Tools background like myself, um, what we will do normally is put a marker down here and take your edit cursor there, uh, trim it out, and then come back to the marker and then control click. This is what we would normally do. And I found that too slow. I wanted to come up with a custom action where I could do this faster. So now I am at 1918. I'm not moving my edit cursor. All I'm doing is move my mouse cursor to there and click a button, hit a button, and it trims the front of that uh, from my mouse cursor and then I just do control click and it comes here so I don't have to uh, move my edit cursor at all I don't have to lay down a marker I'm not moving my edit cursor instead I'm just pointing where I want to trim and I hit the trim key and then snap to edit cursor if you want to bring this region this bit to the cursor but without trimming anything, what we would normally do is just drag the file until we get it here. Um, to be more precise, what we can do is, let's say I want to bring this transient here to the edit cursor. I've mapped another shortcut where I can point at that transient and put a snap offset to my mouse cursor like so and then I click. Now, without moving my edit cursor, 
I've brought the snap point uh, to the position where I want. Let's say at time code 1706, I want the peak of this car pass by to line up. So all I do is uh, hit command comma, which is my shortcut to put a snap offset. And it not only put a snap offset to the item, but also select it. And let me do it again. So I don't have anything selected right now. So I'm pointing my mouse cursor there and I'm doing command comma. It selects it, puts a snap offset, and then I just hit control click and that comes to my cursor without actually having to move my edit cursor at all. Uh, the way I'm doing these two things is first, um, the first one is A, which is custom trim left edge of item to edit cursor. So what I'm doing is uh, first I store my edit cursor position and then I move edit cursor to mouse cursor and then I select item under mouse cursor, leaving other items selected. So if you have three or four items selected, then it will still leave those items selected. And then I trim or untrim left edge to edit cursor. And then I recall the stored edit position. What this, this custom action is actually doing is when I hit that button A, it takes the edit cursor to here trims it out, bring the edit cursor back to the original position. So all this is happening in just one key. So my edit cursor position is not moved. I just point my mouse cursor, hit A, and that's it. Similarly, I've assigned uh, S to trim the right side of cursor. So I again, store edit position, move edit cursor to mouse cursor, select item under mouse cursor and trim right of cursor and recall the cursor position. So what this will do is this. Uh, I have my mouse position here. When I click S, it will trim the remaining, the right side of the mouse cursor. And I've mapped fades as well for this. So if I want to have a fade in, I can just point my mouse cursor and I hit D and that's it. And I can keep hitting D wherever I want. All I'm doing is just moving my mouse and hitting D. Uh, and again, for fade out, I point my mouse cursor where I want and just hit G. Custom fade into mouse cursor. Store edit cursor position. Move edit cursor to mouse cursor. Select item under mouse cursor, leaving other items selected. Fade into cursor and recall edit cursor position. Let's say we have these two items selected and I want to fade in both items up to this point. So all I have to do is select both items without losing my edit cursor position, but select both items, point to where I want, till where I want to fade in. I just hit D and that's it. So now both tracks will fade in till that point, just like that. And for fade out again, point my mouse and hit G. And I'm just holding G and moving my mouse cursor. And the other cool thing that I've figured out is to move, when I move this item, I want to do this with a key instead of dragging the item, holding and dragging the item. So what I've done is I've mapped F1. If I hit F1 and hold it, I can move the item like that. I'm not dragging now. So it simply moves the item to my mouse cursor position. And if I have a snap offset here, and now if I hold F1 and move, the item moves with my edit cursor to the snap point. If I have a snap point here, if I move with holding F1, it will follow my mouse cursor with the edit cursor. So we can see exactly where we want to line up that item. The way I'm doing that is 
move selected item to edit cursor move edit cursor to mouse cursor no snapping so that it doesn't follow the grid select track and the mouse uh, and then a script move selected item to select the track and move selected item to edit cursor what this will also do is let's say if i want to move this item to test 5 so all i do is hold f1 and move it down and i can move tracks downwards or upwards or left side or right side uh, without having to click and drag so when you click and drag sometimes you may like what i did now sometimes you may end up doing a time selection if you have it mapped for that so this will avoid all of that so you just hold f1 and move down move your mouse cursor down or up or left side or right side or wherever you want now the other custom actions that i'm going to talk about is with envelopes i've been playing around with having custom actions for envelopes and the first thing that i'm going to show you is to put points one thing that we do all the time is just um, you know shift click point 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 um, and then we automate things like that i didn't want to do so much of clicking uh, so what i did was i made a shortcut where i can hold command shift s and it creates a point wherever my mouse is pointing at uh, not only in this envelope but also in any envelope i can simply i don't even have to have the envelope selected uh, it will automatically select the envelope where my mouse is pointing at like that like this so if i want to change the pan i just point what i want to change and command shift s and it will select the envelope and it, it also applies to take envelopes like that so this is very easy to automate things it's actually more accurate than using a fader that's what i experienced let me show you the way i'm doing this is custom insert envelope point at mouse cursor and select select envelope at mouse cursor unselect all points so if you have some points selected already it will unselect them all and then insert new envelope point at mouse cursor using value of the current position or base snapping and then select envelope point at mouse cursor save envelope point selection slot one unselect all points and restore envelope point selection slot one basically what it does is uh, simply you can point your mouse cursor and hit uh, command shift s and it will keep creating points and you can simply automate it any way you want or you can drag them or do whatever you want it, it applies to any envelope be it um, take envelope track envelope uh, take volume uh, take pitch um, like that or uh, take pan like this or in a in a in a stereo item uh, take pan like that um, or anyway, uh, it does that. Um, this it, it will basically select any envelope under the mouse cursor and it will put a point there. The other point that I was going to talk about is making selections and um, doing automation. Let's say in this time selection, I want to do a ramp. I just double click. You see it creates four envelope points, two outside of the time selection exactly three seconds on either side and then i can simply do that uh, let me show you again actually let me demonstrate this with a bigger item so let's say this is my item all i want to do is i want to bring this area down with a smooth ramp on either side all i do is double click the envelope and that's it so i just put two points on either side three seconds outside of the region of the time selection. I've actually assigned it to my mouse modifier. Mouse modifiers. Envelope segment. 
double click is custom insert four envelope points in time selection uh, so let's see what that is custom four envelope points uh, time selection with two points before and after two, three seconds um, so what I do is go to start of time selection move edit cursor back one second and then back two seconds so that's actually three seconds together I couldn't find an action which actually takes it three seconds so I just I had to put it two times and then insert new point at current position go to end of time selection move edit cursor ahead of one second and then two two seconds to make it three seconds and then insert new point at current position and then insert envelope point at time selection and then go to start of time selection time selection like so and hit double click it takes the edit cursor three seconds ahead uh, before the time selection and puts a point there and then it goes to the end of time selection like so and then it takes it three seconds ahead and puts down a point there and then puts two points on to the time selection and brings your edit cursor back to the start of time selection so you stay where you are and another custom action is uh, to make like a ramp but this time not from outside but within the time selection I want the center of the time selection to go up or down with a smooth ramp so what I do this time is hold command shift double click on the envelope and you see this actually makes three envelope points the third envelope point is being in the middle so now I can just select the middle envelope position and do that again I've managed to do that through a mouse modifier so envelope segment command shift double click custom add three envelope points what I'm doing here is insert two envelope points at time selection move cursor to middle of time selection insert new point at current position and unselect all points like I said this action can be used with any envelope whether it is take envelope or track envelopes pan envelopes plug-in envelopes on anything uh, so let me show you on a track uh, you make a time selection just double click it does that and pull it down like that now if you want to do the other way around uh, make a time selection hold command shift double click and you can click the middle bit and increase or decrease or do whatever you want so that's it from me i hope you find this custom action useful thank you for listening there you go guys great custom actions and tips for working in reaper thank you so much to vj and thank you guys for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.